Hi, this is Ablaut, and I'm looking at XCV Rack, the uh, open source virtual Eurorack modular synthesizer. I started a 50 day challenge, and in this challenge, I hope to learn more about VCV Rack, and every day I'll put out something. Uh, this I made yesterday is my first experiment and I wanted to make this video to quickly go over what I have done. Let's start from the beginning. Over here tiny sawish is the oscillator. This is then modulated by various modules here, rampage, splash, and that all feeds into the one ring, ring modulator that finally goes into tangents here on the second row. And the output of tangents goes into my first channel, that's what you hear the bass drone. Then I also put the output into two instances of Debriatus to get more stereo widening. I modulate these with this LFO module as well as the Desagus, or however you say that. This then goes into diffuse for a little delay before it goes into kneel for more modulation and you get this kind of spacey noise and you see one channel is left, one is right and it gives it space. I then also route this to a ping pong delay for even more stereo action. And of course it makes the noise louder. But I think this sounds really cool. As you can see, uh, with this LFO, I also changed the ring modulation of this first voice. I generally like to get a lot of modulation, even if it's subtle, you get some movement in there. Okay, then my next voice is muted here and in my recording I did this manually add a little bit of texture now and then on this hi-hat which is triggered from the clock to this divider to this Bernoulli gate I guess. well this one actually this one is not doing anything I might as well onto that one. Uh, so yeah, the clock is multiplied four times and then into this gate so we get some source of uncertainty. And this then goes into a reverb, this M verb, and the output goes into this channel. And finally the fourth voice is this collection here at the bottom fed from this same 
oscillator here I go from this quantizer to this quantizer with slightly different settings just slightly going into a double delay and these both feed into the left and right channels of this beautiful texture synthesizer That then goes into these two wave shapers to the sound a little bit more, and finally to Johnny, and then that's yeah, the final voice. And this results into some kind of arpeggiated sending subtle noise. Just now. could probably with some kind of LFO on a hi-hat but I was running out of time and I just wanted to finish this patch last night so I left it at this and just did it manually Anything that is coming out of this. And that is, in short, my first experiment. Liked it, and check in again with some different experiments later.